I find it really funny that there are adult males uh, hating on this kid and this is so common like I don't understand why is it since social media became a thing that we have so much hate and it's usually from the people that are above in a age matter this is something that you will never see in an actual gym like So there's recently been a large influx of children trying to go the Alex Eubank route and try and become a TikTok influencer. Today we're going to be reacting to some of these and uh, giving them sort of like a rating out of 10 uh, on how good I think they're doing and what they could improve on. And also to raise some awareness uh, to the actual fitness industry as a whole because seemingly these guys have cracked the code uh, when it comes to using hate to actually go viral and... Uh, Game followers through just being annoying and somewhat obnoxious even. My name's Alex, I'm a personal trainer and a nutrition coach focusing on helping young men navigate through the misinformation of modern day self-improvement. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Let's get into it. So the first kid we'll be looking at is uh, called Rich Powers. Uh, I don't know if that's his real name. 20 years old, so he's as old as I am currently um and he doesn't have like the worst physique in the world like uh if you look at his feed he definitely goes uh, a little against the other candidates we have here because he actually tries to portray himself as aesthetic which uh, at his current state arguably you know compare him to other fitness influencers obviously he's not as aesthetic as they are but then again he's 21 and he's natty presumably and uh, the comments this kid gets is uh, about the same as everybody else will be looking at in this video. <laughs> Thank you for showing us what happens if we don't believe in ourselves. Damn, the strongest man in Ohio. Since he has probably the best physique out of all these kids, uh, and he's probably the oldest, he actually doesn't get as much hate. Like, if we look at the post here, he basically compares himself to Jay Cutler here uh, on the left, and he this is him on the right. The comments he gets aren't usually the quirky, edgy jokes, and uh, he has the least followers out of all of these kids as well, so uh, I guess he uh, he could actually grow a following more if he went even more obnoxious. Uh, I think he's doing himself a disservice by trying to actually look good without having the progress to show for it, I guess. However, a pump cover, okay, this could be interesting. I have to mute this. What's it gonna be? Well... Not a whole lot, <laughs> but that's fine because I've been there and uh, I'm still, you know, in that same position. I'm not like super jacked for my age. Uh, there are like 16 year olds more jacked than I am. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's all about genetics and all about how, how good your training is, how good your diet is, how well you actually work out. Uh, do you go to failure? Do you sleep enough? Uh, are your hormones in check? This kid, it could be a lot of things that go wrong here uh, for him to not make a lot of progress. Um, it could just be that he hasn't hit puberty yet, which I know it sounds crazy, a 21 year old not having hit puberty. But it is more common than you think. There are adults out there that are like 25 and then they start getting like early signs of puberty. <laughs> Find some girl to hurt you, bro. Allergic, <laughs> allergic to progress. Testosterone blockers. Uh, <laughs> pump cover so powerful it covers the pump even when <laughs> after you taking it off. So you can see what I'm talking about here. There are These comments are pretty funny, I'll admit, but uh, I don't know if they necessarily help with the actual progress. Um, as we'll look further on, uh, this guy's 21, but we will be looking at increasingly younger um, individuals post the same sort of content. Uh, they have even less progress to show for it, and they get so much hate that uh, I would argue that this shows the real toxicity of the fitness industry. Uh, that's about it for Rich. I do suggest you go and follow him and show him some love. Uh, maybe even say that Alex sent you. <laughs> but basically, yeah, like I think we should, we could all do with uh, more inspiration and more motivation in this industry instead of putting people down and just uh, quirky jokes, uh, especially if the person expects them is uh, good. But at the same time, um, you'll see some comments on these other wannabe influencers that genuinely might, might make you feel sorry for the kids posting those videos. The next one we have is Presley Barnes. So he has 50k followers and this guy is obviously trying to be the next Alex Eubank. Um, he has uh, Jesus in his bio, 
uh 13 years old uh, i don't believe that necessarily but uh, it could very well be uh maybe it's just an old bio <laughs> honestly like some of these influencers will keep their bio for like five years and uh it's sort of like a like a tinder bio you just make it and you never check it again so he has a link tree he has actually codes uh young la sponsored that is very oh no wait it says soon here okay so the soon emoji uh i don't know if that's gonna happen, uh, I hope it does. I hope uh, Presley does good. But you can clearly see that this kid is trying to be the next Alex Eubank with the golden locks and uh, blonde hair and like a, a, the haircut and the aesthetic of the overall brand is pretty much the same. So he's 13 actually. That is very surprising. He has an exceptionally good physique for a 13 year old. Uh, keep in mind, this is not like Tristan Lee level, who was uh, not only had good genetics and amazing coaches and facility around him that basically forced him to uh, hyper perform but he also presumably went on anabolics at a pretty early age so seeing a 13 year old with a physique such as presley has uh it's really not surprising to see him at his uh, this sort of stage uh, believe me i was in much worse shape uh, than he was when I was 13. I think I started going to the gym when I was 12. Uh, tail end of my growth spurt, uh, I decided to start working out. His form is um, could be could be better. Going to failure with bad form is not really going to failure. Uh, this is something that people don't usually know. But if you're doing like a bicep curl, for an example, and you're starting to reach uh, mechanical failure and then you start swinging, it's not really gonna give you a whole lot unless you're like really really controlling the eccentric part of the movement uh, as you go down starting to actually position your arms so that you are at a mechanical advantage to push more weight is it gonna help necessarily i would say just keep the exercise the exact same don't start cheating um unlike what arnold usually <laughs> said uh if it gets heavy then start cheating uh and the beginning very strict and then when it gets heavier heavier we did a little cheating, and then when it gets really heavy, more cheating. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. He's kind of like starting to pull the cables in as he's starting to go up, which is uh, significantly uh, reducing the moment arm of the actual weight and significantly reducing the amount of tension on his muscle. So is it really doing jack shit? I would say probably not. Uh, again, with these kids, uh, I can speak from experience because I was 13 once too. Believe it or not, um, these kids genuinely don't know a whole lot about exercise science. So obviously uh, no 13 year old with the exception of Tristan Lee uh, is gonna have like a perfect balance of everything, perfect nutrition, perfect sleep, perfect workouts, uh, going to failure in a proper way and safe way. I would say that's actually a good thing that these kids post their progress because if they didn't, then they wouldn't have attention on them of people uh, trying to help them genuinely. Uh, which by the way every single guy in this video or every single kid should i say in this video uh if you happen to watch this video and you need some help with your programming or uh or progressions or a nutrition plan just feel free to hit me up because uh i'd be happy to help you for free uh just so i know that you guys aren't going to injure yourself or uh just waste like five plus years of your life in the gym uh recording all of your progress but not making any if I could help any of you out, it would be pretty interesting to see uh, see a collab like this with 13 year old kids. So, uh, oh, okay, so this is the video that I think I saw. I said, uh, just two three, 13 year olds trying to better themselves. Looking actually pretty saucy. The guy on the left especially, like pretty lean, uh, looking like a hard gainer, which uh, is not a thing, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, obviously, uh, Presley has a bit more body fat, but that's to be expected from a fucking 13-year-old kid. Uh, then there's uh, an adult male here saying, bro, makes my body dysmorphia disappear. Uh, this is something that you will see a lot with these uh, guys, as, uh, with these kids, should I say. Uh, these are 13-year-olds posting their physiques. Um, clearly 13 years old. Clearly having worked out for maybe like a year tops. Clearly not even going through puberty just yet, some of them. And uh, then you have adult males that uh, comment uh, from their free time, uh, <laughs> essentially. Uh, the time they could be spending on work or family. Obviously, it boosts the algorithm because uh, all sort of publicity is good publicity. And uh, if you get hate for the content that you make, then uh, it's still going to get views. It's still going to get comments. Instagram is going to see that as popular. It's going to push it more. And this is how these guys get followers. If you are, um, I would say, less than 20 years old watching this video and you want to become a 
decent sized fitness influencer, then uh, this is one uh, strategy you can use. Just uh, gather so much hate in a viral way that uh, you will just get followers from people that want to hate on you 24-7. Uh, is this good long term? Is this good if you actually want to turn your brand around? Uh, we will see in the next uh, influencer we'll be looking at, or wannabe influencer, that uh, he's actually trying to turn his brand around to a more fan base sort of way uh, from a hater base. And also go to Presley and show him some love as well because uh, he's 13. He uh, definitely needs some uh, words of uh, wisdom and encouragement from people that aren't uh, as uh, disgusted with their own lives as these guys commenting uh, hateful messages, I guess. So now we have uh, the kid that I mentioned already his name is Eli. Uh, I've been following this kid around for uh, a while, like when he was still at like 5,000 followers. Pretty much 20x'd his uh, follower count since then. Uh, he has codes, uh, elifitness.co, probably ran by his parents. Um, this is a kid that actually is attempting to turn his hater base into a follower base, essentially. Uh, he's clearly... Uh, seeing some progress with it because the recent posts that he makes um, are actually uh, pretty positive. Like, he always puts his stats here, uh, 100 pounds at whatever his age is, uh, I guess. <laughs> four and nine, and uh, uh, a <laughs> little bro staying four foot, <laughs> never growing. Okay, so this is, uh, this is interesting because people think that going to the gym at a young age is going to stunt your growth. It is not. It is actually probably most likely going to make you even taller because... Like I mentioned, I started going to the gym when I was 12 and uh, it was pretty much at the tail end of my growth spurt, but I still grew a little more. I'm currently six foot two and I started going when I was probably like five foot six or five foot seven. So I de definitely grew uh, since then and uh, it didn't stunt my growth. I knew bro is on steroids. Uh, okay, I hate comments, secret to being short. Um, obviously this is still a kid. He's not like 25, so He's gonna grow, guys. He's gonna grow. He's gonna grow. Um, dislike button. Uh, so, uh, here before the grown men, as men, start hating on you. So, yeah, that, I find it really funny that there are adult males uh, hating on this kid. And this is so common. Like, I don't understand why is it since social media became a thing that we have so much hate. And it's usually from the people that are above in a age matter. This is something that you will never see in an actual gym. Like if you go to a gym, if it's like a smaller gym, which is a uh, one that I go to, people there are so loving and so helpful. And even if it's a commercial gym, you will notice that, you know, there's these fitness influencers like, uh, Joey Swole and uh, Noel Diesel that are these huge mass monsters and they always spread positivity and they always have this like uh, underlying positive message that everybody should be uh, inspiring and uh, spreading motivation around and uh, love around in the fitness industry. You will never see like a huge guy being hateful like this. Every single hate comment here, if you look at their profile pictures, it's either no profile picture it's an anime profile picture, or it is a uh, small guy, <laughs> essentially. Uh, there's never a bodybuilder like an IFBB pro going in the comments of a 13-year-old kid saying, like, you're small, stop posting, uh, I hate you, dislike button, you know, stuff like that. So I find it really funny how, with the rise of social media, way that we can essentially stay anonymous online, we can just let our all of our jealousy and all of our deepest, darkest emotions out without any consequences and this sort of breeds this new age where uh, you genuinely have 13 year old kids being hated on by grown ass men and I think it's uh, I don't think it's bad I think it's just funny I initially when I started making this video I was like okay this is straight up like cyberbullying but then I was like okay these kids are actually smart they're using it to their advantage it's not really cyberbullying at this point it's more like uh, these kids are playing with grown men <laughs> That sounded wrong. <laughs> that sounded really wrong. But they are playing with the uh, emotions of grown ass men, basically. Because these grown ass men are stuck at like nine to five jobs with the physiques of, uh, I don't even want to say anything bad because I don't want to sound toxic myself. But these men are clearly jealous that there is a 13 year old kid able to put in so much work into their physique and they, they themselves did not have that chance or just didn't put effort into it when they were his age and uh, now they are jealous because uh, they are old and out of shape and uh, having all these health issues and all that they can do really is see this post on their feed while they've been scrolling for like 30 minutes 
and then leave a hate comment and then maybe feel better about themselves. That was a long ass side tangent, but Eli is probably the second favorite of all of these uh, kids that I'll be looking at. That sounded really wrong too, uh, right now. If you look at his pictures, like he is genuinely making awesome progress. Oh wait, no, never mind. That was, that was another kid. His physique, like look at this, doing the, the fucking Hulk pose, trap race sort of thing. Like he is looking really swole, striations and shit. Like even at his body fat level, which I would say is probably around like 18 or above. He's still getting striations uh, in good lighting. So uh, this kid is going places. He has 100K followers now. He's clearly doing good. His parents are clearly helping him out with this. I would say go show him some love, but uh, obviously he's doing pretty good at this point. Good on you. Good on you, man. I'm, uh, I'm happy to see this. Oh, and this, this post is the one that I saved actually. Uh, you're not natty. And then <laughs> he takes the shirt off. But he's not looking that bad here. The last kid that we'll be looking at is uh, Ricky, probably my most favorite of, uh, of them all because he's just so pure and innocent and he's trying to do the same thing as um, Eli tried before him, uh, which is uh, use hate for, for uh, growing. Uh, but he's like a genuinely good kid. And uh, his comment section is by far probably the worst uh, because he also has probably the, I guess, worst physiques of them all, uh, which I'm not, again, I'm not saying this as a hateful thing. I'm just saying like from an objective standpoint, he has uh, a pretty high body fat, which is uh, completely fine because believe it or not, I was at the same exact position at his age. Uh, maybe a little slightly earlier than that. I was like 11, 12. Pretty, uh, I was a chubby kid. I was a really chubby kid. I'll put some pictures uh, on the screen here so you can see. I, I can sympathize with him because uh, I was in the same spot that he was and uh, I didn't have all of this like nutrition dialed in and uh, training dialed in. I was working out at the gym of my school and my mom had to, you know, pay the exceptionally high price and <laughs> this kid is... <laughs> This kid uh, has like this really cool Batman thing going on where he uh, seemingly thinks he's Batman. Uh, we legit shit on this kid. This is, I'm assuming, also a grown ass man. Uh, he is, yeah. This is gonna sound racist as hell, but I've noticed that the most amount of hate comes from uh, Eastern guys. Um, so like Indian and uh, I guess like uh, Filipino guys. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why, but uh, take it as you will, putting the obese Batman jumping rope gif here. This comment perfectly summarizes why these kids even do this sort of content. The main reason people followed you was to laugh at how much ego you have for your size. So he gets followers, like real people, real people interacting with this content, not probably liking, but still leaving comments, and the algorithm is gonna push it more. And then people like me are gonna notice and be like, whoa, this kid is actually doing something cool. Good old work in silence and let the results do the speaking quote is, uh, it has its point, but we've reached uh, a, a state where uh, social media is a must for people. I've, I'm personally guilty of not being very present in social media. I tend to focus more on real life interactions, uh, but I guess this channel sort of in a way counts as social media. Yeah, like these kids are getting hate followers and they manage to gather like a large following and then they start converting that following into lovers instead of haters basically it's a very interesting thing to see because uh this goes against the usual grain of uh gaining followers that love your content or uh that love what you're doing from the get-go but instead they sort of gain notoriety first and then they sort of changed to a more lovable sort of character and uh, then they essentially have these followers that used to be haters. But yeah, he's a very interesting kid. Um, and he also actually has a YouTube channel which I uh, took a, a look at earlier and uh, there's a couple of videos that I wanna go through because uh, oh, he also has Jesus in his uh, bio. I guess that's an American thing. Actually, fuck it, I'm gonna subscribe to Ricky. He has a decent following, uh, 60 videos. That's uh, cranking those out must have been a pain in the ass. So within one month, he has 60 videos, that is crazy. So this kid is clearly in a pretty good <laughs> spot and he's editing his own videos, which I think is cool. No, oh, 60 day app challenge, he's British. God, this kid reminds me of me so bad. Like, I, We all know that feeling when you're like 13 years old and you're doing the uh, app workouts uh, in your room, hoping that your parents don't walk in, but this kid has sort of turned it around and he's uh, posting himself publicly and uh, and I'm sure that his parents know and support him. And uh, he's doing uh, the leg raises here with uh, 
the hands uh, below the ass, which is great for the pelvic flexion, uh, the posterior pelvic tilt, uh, able to get a much bigger stretch out of the ab section here. So his form is like ex exceptionally good for uh, for a lot of exercises. Like uh, if we look at his, the way he does bicep curls, like maybe he's leaning a little too much, but like. And he could do more supination, he could get uh, more tension on the short head of the bicep. But like overall his form is extremely good and uh, I don't understand why he's not making progress honestly because uh, he's been around for a while, like uh, one month obviously since he made this video but he's been working out for a while. If we look at his day in the life video, then uh, he wakes up, okay, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna do 50 push-ups like Tate told him? No, he's gonna... Bacon and eggs, okay, so... A really good breakfast, you don't uh, load up with carbs in the early in the morning, so you have more energy, a more stable level of blood sugar. Uh, so if you don't necessarily want to work out in the morning, uh, there is really no point to loading up with massive amounts of carbs in the morning. So bacon and eggs, although yeah, if you... If you uh, already are hitting your macro goals uh, in terms of protein and fats, then uh, you might want to spur your carbs out throughout the day as well. Um, but that's like getting really into the details. So his nutrition seems to be pretty in check. And of course the dog. Uh, bicep curls, uh, these are hammer curls, but uh, yeah, could, could go a bit lighter here. Uh, clearly his sort of swinging a lot and now he turned into bicep curls instead at the end there um, so his form is great uh, his nutrition so far as I've seen is pretty okay but for some reason he's not making progress so Ricky if you're watching this uh, I would be happy to help you out uh, again for free I know how it is uh, being a kid with no money <laughs> for personal training i would be happy to like look over your training program your training splits and your daily nutrition and uh, try to figure out why you're not making as much progress as you could i'm assuming that you're trying to be in a caloric deficit uh, if it is that you're actually tracking your calories if you're trying to be in a caloric deficit while lifting heavy uh, you might end up just overeating or uh, simply slowing down your metabolism to a point that, uh, especially at your age, is not ideal. Clearly, you're eating a lot of protein and, uh, uh, I don't know, like maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Uh, I would be happy to help out and help you figure out why. Uh, if you start making progress just like um, uh, Eli Dice Fitness did, uh, you'll uh, definitely uh, <laughs> make the make the 25-year-old uh, construction working uh, assholes mad on the internet because you're actually making progress and they cannot hate on you anymore. So I would be happy to see that as well. So uh, that pull downs form is okay. Uh, I would do a little less swinging, but the uh, neutral neutral grip uh, shoulder width pretty good. Seated rows. Um, I would lean forward a bit more to get that extra stretch in your lats and uh, in your mid back. And I would also flex those uh, flex that scapula a bit more uh so retracting it uh, a lot more to get that those rhomboids and uh and trapezius working properly uh tricep extension let's see a, a bit of a bit of swinging but that's normally fine i would say that he's even actually using way too light of a weight here it looks like there's definitely like 20 reps which uh didn't go to failure here, uh, I don't think so. So, uh, if you're using lightweight, like super lightweight, and I don't mean uh, Ronnie Coleman lightweight, but uh, actually lightweight, that you can easily do like 20 plus reps on, then uh, you would need to go to extreme failure. Like the last reps would have to be physical torture for you. And uh, you might even want to throw in some uh, drop sets after that, whether they're mechanical or uh, or just uh, in terms of weight. If you're using weight that is uh, light enough for you to do like 15 plus reps and you're not going to failure, then uh, that's probably not gonna do a whole lot for you. And I'm assuming that's uh, one of the things that is holding your progress down. Now he's biking home, a little bit of a, uh, Zone 2 cardio after the workout, the dog is there, happy to see you. And this is a like really sweet spot that I enjoyed in this video, uh, back when I used to 
back when I saw it. So he's uh, doing jobs at home, cleaning his room, like being an actual good fucking kid, and then uh, listening to an audiobook that his mom sent him. I love my mom, but she never sent me audiobooks uh, for, like this, so uh, clearly his parents are like really, really supportive of him and really loving, and uh, it's happy to see this good Christian family. I think uh, this kid has the potential to be the next Alex Eubank. Uh, Honestly, you know, like it's it's not like you need to have alcoholic parents uh, that beat you and uh, 60 different heartbreaks in order to become a uh, talented lifter. Like you can just come from a really good family, uh, loving family and still make really good progress. Uh, so I'm hoping this is what we'll be seeing in this character arc here. Cleaning the bathroom, a little bit of posing. Uh, clothing brands for inspiration. So he's uh, presumably starting his own brand. Uh, I think it's a little bit early for that, honestly, but um, to each their own. And of course, comments are turned off because the amount of hate he would get is just immense. So again, go to Ricky's page, go to Ricky's YouTube, show this kid some love. He deserves it. Obviously, he's working hard. And even though he's not doing everything perfectly and consistently, then again, who is, right? Like, there are adults uh, out there that are not training properly and not eating properly. I mean, I'm even I'm not doing things properly uh, sometimes. Uh, so, so obviously, hating on a kid that is trying to improve is um, very, very immature, and I'm a bit disappointed that the fitness industry has come to this point. But then again, this is not really, like, a problem with the fitness industry. Uh, it's more of, like, a problem with the internet and problem with... Uh, these grown-ass men having access to internet, I guess. <laughs> Criticism is always going to come from above, but hate is gonna come from below. If you're someone who also is sort of like trying to measure their progress and trying to like better yourself and you get people calling you names and people, you know, essentially bullying you, they're doing it because they are unhappy with themselves in some way. And uh, it's not necessarily because they're jealous of you, you know, they might be in better shape than you, they might be in uh, a better place financially, but they're still giving you that time of day to bring you down because they see a threat in you, basically. Like, what do you do if you see someone in a race trying to catch up to you, essentially? You try to sabotage them, right? You try to do everything you can to slow them down. And uh, these people, instead of speeding up, uh, they will try to slow other people down. This is how uh, <laughs> losers work, essentially. They uh, they have the loser mindset. They have the, the scarcity mindset. They think that if... Uh, if they support someone, if they uh, say, uh, actually motivate someone that they're actually creating competition for themselves, which is, to me, that's crazy because these are grown ass men uh, seeing competition in children, essentially. So I think it's stupid. I think it is uh, very unfortunate, but at the same time, it is uh, luckily these kids have been able to make it work for them. So this is sort of like the shitty, shitty state that the industry is in right now. Um, if you're someone who has really thin skin when it comes to uh, the sort of uh, criticism or not even criticism but hate then uh, avoid posting yourself on social media at all like generally at all uh, even if you look like um, noel diesel essentially then you're still gonna get hate from people that are jealous uh, if you're someone who doesn't have a thick skin and cannot take the hate then uh, don't post yourself on social media and if you're someone who can take the heat sure go for it you'll you'll gain a following fast if you uh, appeal to the masses of, uh, of hateful people so at the end of the day uh, I just want to see the fitness industry be a more supportive place uh, this is what people like Joey Swole and Noel Diesel are working on heavily and have uh, sort of had an impact, but you know, it's not gonna change the world overnight. I'm sort of doing what I can uh, to uh, add some fuel into the fire. Just go and show these kids some love. If uh, any of these kids end up watching my video, then feel free to reach out, whether through Instagram or uh, or on YouTube directly, or uh, I guess email is, uh, is cool too. Uh, I'll talk to you and uh, see how you're doing and uh, keep uh, keep everybody up to date in terms of progress. Uh, I would be happy to help out. So. so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with someone who might find it useful as well. And uh, I'll see you next time. Fly high.